Hello everyone! We will be doing another example para sa chain rule of differentiation. Kapag kumukuha tayo ng derivative ng f of g of x, where yung g of x yung inner function natin, it is just equal to, kukuhanin natin yung derivative ng buong outer function na iiwan natin as is yung inner function na g of x, tapos tsaka natin siya imumultiply doon sa derivative ng inner function natin na g of x. So in other notation, eto siya, we have dy over dx is equal to this dy over du, yung derivative ng outer function, tapos imumultiply natin siya dun sa du, where u is our inner function with respect to x. Now, gamitin natin siya dito sa ating example. We have y is equal to 2x raised to the fourth times 3x squared minus 5. This is raised to 6. Medyo komplikado lang siya kasi if we will be expanding this one, magiging mahaba siya, kaya gagamit tayo ng chain rule dito, and then meron tayong product. So, we will be using our product rule of differentiation. Now, let us recall, kapag kumukuha tayo ng derivative ng products ng dalawang functions, say u and v, this is just equal to, we copy the first u times derivative of the second v, tapos i-add natin siya, kukopyahin naman natin yung pangalawa, second function times the derivative of the first u. So, we have first times derivative of the second plus second times derivative of the first. Wherein, yung given natin, etong 2x raised to the fourth, let this be our first function, tapos yung buong 3x squared minus 5 raised to 6, eto yung ating second function. Now, we apply our product rule. We have y prime, the derivative is just equal to, we copy the first, kukopyahin lang natin si 2x raised to the fourth, tapos imumultiply natin siya dito sa derivative ng pangalawa. So, we have here, kapag gagamit tayo ng chain rule of differentiation, Etong 3x squared minus 5, let this be our inner function. Kaya kung etong buong to, kapag kukuhanin natin yung derivative, we will be applying our power rule of differentiation. Na kapag kumukuha tayo ng derivative of a certain power, say x raised to n, this is just equal to, ibababa lang natin yung exponent na n, tapos imumultiply natin siya kay x, tapos yung exponent ay babawasan ng isa. So we do that here, eto yung buo natin, Meron tayong exponent na 6, siya yung ibababa natin by applying our power rule. So, we have 6 here. Tapos, imumultiply natin, iiwan natin yung inner function as is. So, you have 3x squared minus 5. Tapos, yung exponent na 6 ay babawasan natin ng isa. So, you have 6 minus 1. Tapos, imumultiply natin siya. Tapos na tayo dito sa outer function, dun sa derivative ng inner natin. So, you have 3x squared minus 5. Kapag kinuha natin yung derivative niya, gagamit ulit tayo ng power rule. So, we have our 3 here. Tapos, ibababa natin yung exponent na 2 ni x squared. Kaya, ito ay magiging 3 times 2. Tapos, yung x, we have our exponent of 2. Babawasan din ng isa. Now, tapos na tayo kay 3x squared. Dito naman tayo kay 5. So, this is minus. Since 5 is a constant, ang derivative ng constant is just equal to 0. With this, nagamit na natin ang chain rule of differentiation para makuha natin yung derivative nitong pangalawang function natin, that is 3x squared minus 5 raised to 6. Dito pa lang tayo sa first times the derivative of the second. Itutuloy pa natin yung product rule natin, we add, we copy our second function. Ito lang naman siya. So, kopyahin natin, we have 3x squared minus 5 raised to 6, tapos imumultiply natin siya dun sa derivative nung una. So, we have 2x raised to the fourth. Still applying derivative of a power or power rule, eto, we copy 2, tapos ibababa natin yung exponent that is 4. So, we bring down 4, so this is 2 times 4, tapos imumultiply natin siya kay x, tapos babawasan natin ng exponent na isa. Kaya eto ay magiging x raised to 4 minus 1 following our formula. Then we close this one. Then ayusin lang natin yung grouping symbol para mas madali siyang tignan. We put a bracket here. So kailangan na lang natin isimplify yung terms natin. Tapos na tayo sa pagkuha ng derivative. So we have y prime. This is equal to, we copy, 2x raised to the fourth. Tapos eto will become 6. Tapos still, 3x squared minus 5. Tapos yung exponent 6, babawasan natin ng isa. So this is 5. And then performing the operation here, we have 3 times 2 is 6. And then x, 2 minus 1 is just 1. x raised to 1 or x na lang, minus 0. So this is still as is. 
Tapos tuloy tayo sa kabila, we add. So, we copy here. So, we have 3x squared minus 5 raised to 6. Tapos magagawa natin ng operation to. So, you have 2 times 4 is 8. Tapos x, 4 minus 1 is 3. Kaya this is 8x cubed. Tapos tignan natin kung ano pa yung pwedeng isimplify. We have y prime is equal to 2x raised to the 4th. Tapos yung nasa loob, pwede tayo magmultiply ng 6 kay 6x. So, we have 6 times 6, that is 36x. Tapos nakamultiply tayo kay 3x squared minus 5. This is raised to 5. Plus, rearrange na lang natin to kasi wala na naman tayo magagawa. So, you have 8x cubed times 3x squared minus 5 and then raised to 6. Then, i-close pala natin to. We have our grouping symbol here. Then, finally, we can perform our multiplication here. Si 2x raised to the 4 tsaka kay 36x. Hindi pa naman natin to magagalaw kasi we have an exponent of 5. So, simplifying this further, so we have our y prime. That is, 2 times 36 is 72. Tapos, x raised to the 4 times x, that is, x raised to 5. Tapos, eto, kopyahin na lang natin. So, you have 3x squared minus 5 and then raised to 5. Tapos, yung nasa kabila, we have 8x cubed times 3x squared minus 5 and then raised to 6. This is already an acceptable final answer. Pero, if you want to simplify this further, pwede pa tayo mag-factor out. Common term, 3x squared minus 5 raised to 5. Ito ay mawabuasan lang ng isa. So, you have y prime is equal to, factoring this out, we have 3x squared minus 5 and then raised to 5. And then, ano yung matitira sa loob? You have 72x raised to the 5 dito kasi buong ito ay na-factor out. Tapos, dito naman, we have 8x cubed. Pero dahil nag-factor out tayo ng power of 5, this is raised to 6. May may iwan pa na isa. So, you have 3x squared minus 5. Then we just perform our multiplication here. So we have y prime is equal to, we have 3x squared minus 5 raised to 5. And then ang natira dito, you have 72 x raised to the 5. Then let us perform our multiplication. You have 8 times 3, this is 24. x cubed times x squared, that is x raised to the fifth power, tapos minus. 8x cubed times 5, that is 40x cubed. And then, pwede pa tayo mag-simplify, we can perform our addition here. So, finally, this is our final answer. y prime is equal to 3x squared minus 5 raised to 5. Then, multiplied to 72x raised to the 5th power plus 24x raised to the 5th. So, you have 96x raised to the 5th minus 40x cubed. So, this is our answer. We were able to apply chain rule of differentiation alongside product rule of differentiation. This ends our third solved problem for chain rule. See you on our next example.